I just look at his camera. Okay. Do I look at you or <laughs> classic docu-series? <laughs> Hey everybody, my name is Reed Fisher. I'm a professional distance runner for Adidas and Tin Man Elite. How's it going guys? I'm Sam Parsons. I'm the creative director of Tin Man Elite and I work together with Adidas on this shoe pack we have coming up. The three models we put together with Adidas, we've been super fortunate over the last couple years to work and collaborate with the Audi Zero team out in Germany. So they provide us with some incredible footwear and some great models to choose from and then we kind of pick shoes that we think our team uses the most and, and as a result a lot of our supporters and, and fellow runners will be using as well. Yeah, so the design process with these shoes has always um, been such a joy because kind of the point man through all this stuff is Nick Roche and it's someone that I worked with at Adidas back when I interned there and he was kind of the catalyst for us to do all these shoes together with Adidas so to be able to actually put something together and it's not just something like on an iPad or something and then it really comes to life right here and then into the hands of all of you um, and onto your feet and then rip these things apart on the track and on the trails is something truly special. With the Boston 10, I felt like this was kind of another shoe that if you saw this on adidas.com or at the Adidas store in New York or wherever you are in the world, like you would know immediately this is a Tin Man shoe. And like that's what's really important to me is that like right away you know like okay this is their shoe and this is something that they wear. Start out here, this is the SL20 2.0 that our team did with Adidas. Uh, this is just a nice update from the original SL20 if you've ran in that shoe. Um, kind of just made this more of like a lightweight trainer as opposed to a pure workout shoe as the original SL20 was. I really wanted this shoe to be something that you could wear to practice and to school. It's a pretty simple design. Uh, but it has the classic Tim Man Elite gold strokes through the shoe. Uh, we have the hammer neck design uh, on the tongue. And then on the back of the shoe, we have SL20 on one side and then the TME on the other. And then the classic chop wood carry water bark imprint on the insoles of the shoes. So our guys have worn these honestly from everything down to longer track workouts when we're trying to save our legs to shake out runs after a big long run day uh, when your legs are already heavy and you just want a little bit less shoe underneath you. So it's got full white strike midsole, not white strike pro. That's Adidas' super foam. Just a classic shoe foam. Nice and responsive, nice and lightweight. Uh, the outsole, we've got full continental rubber. All this gray is continental. So it's gonna wear really nicely, especially in those high wear areas, uh, forefoot and, and heel. So yeah, you should get some good life out of this shoe, whether you're using it kind of as a, a daily trainer if your mileage is low, or if you're using it as a more workout focused shoe, it should hold up for quite a bit. And yeah, that's the, the SL20. Next up, we've got the Audi Zero Takumi Scent 8. So this is a brand new shoe to the Adidas lineup and, and also to us. So the Takumi is kind of a slim down Adios Pro. That's Adidas's more marathon focused race day shoe. Uh, this one's a little bit more 5K to 10K geared, but a lot of our guys have been using this for our track sessions. This is like a workout shoe that you get the whole effect of a super shoe, except you can rip on the track with it and be really mobile and not feel like clunky on your feet. It's got the same White Strike Pro Foam as the Adios Pro, which is super lightweight, super bouncy, really just saves your legs like crazy. Uh, it's the super shoe foam that Adidas has chosen. So White Strike Pro, really, really lightweight and, and just a good foam. My favorite part about these shoes is this kind of like mismatch Adidas hammer and axe we have on the insides here. And I'm really stoked on how it came out. I think it looks beautiful when you look at it from this angle. And then we have kind of this gold banner, which is almost like this kind of like gold metal kind of feeling to the shoe that you're kind of have like draped around like your neck. Uh, as far as the upper goes, we've got cellar mesh the whole way through. Super, super lightweight. I don't know if you can see here, but it's basically translucent and the heel counter is super, super minimal. Uh, so yeah, the upper kind of just disappears on your foot, which is really nice. It's about as lightweight as you could possibly make this shoe. These midsoles go pretty crazy here. With like the gray, the white, and the black, and the gold all together. Same as the Adios Pro, we've got the energy rods here underneath. That's these three golden bars that you can kind of see through poking through. That's, as I've talked about in past shoe reviews, they're anatomical carbon infused rods that basically act as a carbon plate, but instead of being a plate, this one allows you to flex a little bit and move your foot naturally in the shoe rather than having the plate do all the work for you. So especially for track work or road courses that are pretty twisty turny, the shoe feels quite a bit more in tune with your natural running motion. Um, so that's something I like quite a bit. And then on the midsole or outsole, excuse me, we've got continental rubber here. 
which will be on that high wear area. And then this is just a lightweight, really tacky compound that keeps you nice and stable when things get wet or the footing's a little bit loose, this foam or this rubber is super sticky. We have the gold hammer and axes down the tongue, um, kind of like as like a secret little hidden thing underneath the tongue, underneath the laces here, which I love. So yeah, that's the Takumi Sen 8. Really nice upgrade from the old Takumi. Definitely feels a little bit like a, like I said, just a slimmed down Adios Pro. Great for anything track work all the way up to 10K road racing. So give that one a try if you haven't tried the new Takumi yet. It's a really, really fun shoe. Then last but not least, we have the Avanti Pro that we put together. So this is gonna be a track spike. As you can see, we've got six pins underneath your foot there. This is kind of like a Takumi, uh, but with a spike plate, a little bit less foam. And as you can see, just a much more aggressive last to it. This is really gonna rock you forward nicely and get you up on your toes for when you're doing some track racing. So this is like a gray two, gray three, and then this is like a gray one actually. These kind of almost look white in pictures. Um, I always like having a really light looking shoe on my feet and so that's why I want to do a lighter color here. So if you're doing some longer track racing or just want to save your legs if you're doing a lot of track workouts but you're a mid D guy or gal, this will be a great spike to have in your rotation. Uh, similar to the Takumi and the Audios Pro, we've got those energy rods here in the midsole. Same as on the Takumi, just five rods underneath your foot that kind of act as that carbon plate, spring you forward, keep you running hard. Apart from that, Light Strike Pro midsole, same as the Takumi. Really, really just nice, save your legs, have you feeling good, you know, deep into a, a track 5K or 10K. And then same thing with embossed chop wood carry water bark imprint on the inside with Tin Man Addy Zero on the insoles. And then we had the great energy rods. Uh, underneath, we've got pretty classic spike plate, kind of a nice horseshoe design, six pins, just your classic spike. And we've got this kind of shark skin material on the forefoot and the heel just for some extra traction on the track. Apart from that, the upper, a uh, little bit more built out than the Takumi, obviously built for higher speeds and turning on the track, so they needed to give you a little bit more structure and support, but still feels super lightweight, really nice and breathable. The three hammer and axes right on the tongue there, right down the middle, uh, super clean. You can kind of see my hand poking through, so really, really thin, breathable upper, just with some added support. I don't know how well you can see that here, but just some extra support on the lateral and medial sides just to make sure you're feeling nice and locked down in the shoe. And that is the Avanti Pro. Last, the box. We wanted to do something really personal with this box uh, and something that you could keep throughout the whole season. So it has this really cool way to open it like this. And then on the back of it, it has, it's totally personalizable. Uh, so you can put your name, uh, the date, what race you ran, what distance it was, what was your time, hopefully a PB, it will be a PB if you're wearing these, and then what place you got. And you can kind of chronicalize your entire season and immortalize it on the back of the box right here. Easy day, workout, and finally the track race day shoe. So you've kind of got one for, for each day in your workout routine. Can always be repping the squad just like we will be. So yeah, go grab yourself a pair. They'll be live on our site, tinmanweed.com, and the Adidas website here soon. Thank you.